good afternoon everybody uh, basically the topic given to me is challenges and opportunities in uh, new cities so uh, basically how uh, i i have uh, made my presentation i would be speaking the challenges and opportunities what are available in uh, one of the corridors where we are working delhi and meerut and then subsequently i'll discuss about the challenges being faced or likely to be faced in the country uh, this is the uh, basically to show uh, why do we need rrts rrts is basically filling the gap of uh, regional commute you see for more than 150 kilometers we have the national railways we have the airlines we have the high speed rail for city level we have the metros which is generally 10 to 25 or 30 or 40 kilometers or 50 kilometers and for last mile connectivity we have autos shared autos e rickshaws ola uber all those are there so the gap uh, between the less than 150 and more than 25 or uh, 30 kilometers that gap is being filled in by the regional rail that is the rrts the challenges um, uh, what uh, basically um, uh, for any project and of course for rrts it being more than metro projects are uh, if i list it it could be like this the capex and opex intensive it's a um, uh, capex and opex intensive project so this is a challenge initially the capex and subsequently from the sustainability point of view the opex uh, we have to design such a system which is financially sustainable this is a big challenge then uh, for meeting that challenge yes subsequently the uh, suitable technology has to be uh, found out which is which makes it sustainable then the uh, of course unevenly developed city infrastructure this is a challenge during execution then uh, we have to encourage the general sentiment of use of public transport i was discussing during the lunch session with one of my colleagues that this is a big challenge as of date uh, india is has been defined to be a 5 trillion usd economy by 2024 so uh, earlier we were 2.6 uh, trillion uh, usd economy by 2020 and now the target is just almost doubled so for this the government has identified three mega reasons the mega reasons are the national capital region that is uh, where we are stretching to the locations from uh, jaipur ajmer meerut to gwalior then uh, mumbai pune this is the reason 2 and chennai to bengaluru region this is the reason 3 so these are the three reasons which have been identified to fill in that uh, bigger gap what we were talking more than 30 kilometers and up to 150 kilometers uh, how the rrts is going to help in such a situation you see the uh, we presume that any commuter can travel 1 hour in the morning and 1 hour in the evening and that is being met by our metros we have a average speed of 30 to 35 kilometers per hour and uh, since um, to decongest the uh, mega regions which we just discussed uh, we need a range of minimum 90 to 100 kilometers and rrts has this advantage it can carry it can uh, carry passengers up to 90 to 100 kilometers in one hour the un report projects uh, delhi to be the most populous city on planet in next 10 years so this is with reference now i am coming to uh, with reference to delhi meerut that what are the challenges that we faced and how uh, we are trying to overcome the unmanageable urban sprawl of course pollution congestion accidents all these are um, uh, the important factors these are the challenges which have to be overcome how rrts again uh, going back to the capex since the capex is very high for any rrts project so the government's um, uh, guidance government's push is all the time required in in this case honorable finance minister in the financial year budget 2020 uh, 
emphasized on the need to invest more in suburban railways directed by cpcb under environmental protection act then subsequently epca comprehensive action plan for air pollution high powered committee on decongesting traffic delhi recommends the implementation of rrts so the government's will is definitely very strongly required for any rrts to come up uh, this is uh, what uh, has been done in uh, delhi meerut um, i am sorry in uh, rrts uh, phase 1 three corridors have been identified and they are basically the delhi meerut uh, 82.15 kilometers long on which work has already commenced delhi panipat is the next uh, corridor which is under Uh, consideration by the central government and delhi alwar is another corridor which is again uh, under the um, uh, um, approval by the central government for the delhi meerut corridor uh, we have 16 rrts stations uh, and uh, we have 13 local transit uh, stations one of the um, good things uh, you see redu- reducing the capex this was a challenge so how it has been met here uh, the last 22 kilometers towards meerut uh, is a metro also so basically metro has been subsumed in the rrts so 6500 crores which otherwise would have been spent in constructing a metro that is meerut metro so that has been subsumed in it and the same infrastructure the track the viaduct the ohe the signaling everything is common for both mrts and rrts for the last 22 kilometers uh, again uh, selection of technology is again a very important parameter um, for uh, making it sustainable the, these are the standard uh, parameters of course uh, some of them are common to the metros uh, the axle load the rolling stock is 3.2 meter wide traction power is 25 kv ohe automatic fare collection design speed is 180 kmph and operational speed is 160 kmph uh, pre cast slab track uh, has been used for uh, uh, 180 kmph uh, trains signaling system is etcs uh, level 2 over lte fully inter- interoperable beneficial in extension of lines provision of or uh, luggage space Uh, just coming back uh, selection of technology uh, the um, etcs level 2 was selected uh, uh, this is a open protocol uh, system uh, generally um, uh, we go uh, for cbtc in the metros which are closed protocols so if any line is to be extended per force we have to go to the same signaling vendor again in this case etcs level 2 was selected Uh, after a lot of deliberations although it is for the first time in our country but after a lot of deliberations that it doesn't put those restrictions of the protocols when you extend any corridor and then to the generally in metros the, it are it has passenger interchanges but here the train can change the corridor the same train which was running in delhi meerut can now run up to delhi alwar also or delhi panipat also so etcs level 2 has been selected with those reasons with those intentions uh, another uh, to uh, make it uh, more viable uh, mmi multimodal integration has been uh, given due care and um, if i talk uh, we are um, with delhi metro we are integrating with seven metro lines um at uh, meerut metro as i said uh, we have already fully subsumed the meerut metro into it then the gurgaon rapid rail we are interconnecting bawal metro at uh, panchgaon and khirki dola we are uh, interconnecting airport indian railways isbts other bus terminal depots roads due care has been taken that multimodal integration takes place to make it more sustainable or make it more user friendly and helpful for the passengers if i talk about the financial sustainability uh, what i would look for how to reduce the capex how to reduce the opex and increase the non fare re- box revenue 
and this all these three put together if i am able to work on it if we are able to work on it we can make it a financially sustainable system how to reduce the capex uh, what we have uh, followed in metro i'll be telling you with the live examples what we have done in uh, delhi merat rts corridor i'll be giving you examples so it's not just that uh, i'm saying i'll be telling you with examples how we have worked on these amalgamate requirement of city mrts in M rts this is what i said that we have subsumed the merat metro in uh, rts saving about 6500 crores then optimize route alignment through existing motorways we have optimized the uh, gone for the shortest um, uh, underground uh, um, metros are underground rts systems or metros they are expensive generally 3 to 4 times compared to elevated so we have again tried to minimize the underground corridors then ensure interoperability between the among the corridors uh, how to reduce the opex you see electricity is generally in metros it is almost 40 to 45% of the cost of the operations is towards payments of electricity in our case is going to be still a bit higher it will be about 50% of the operating cost will be towards electricity bill so the uh, intention has to minimize the electricity bill and for minimizing the electricity bill uh, all those things which could be done at design stage to have the most energy efficient equipments have the best uh, um, systems uh, which are uh, energy efficient in the design itself that has been taken care and should be taken care for any such big system use of uh, regenerative systems and energy efficient equipments regenerative braking uh, is again uh, going to fetch us about uh, 20 to 25% of the um, traction energy cost so that has been also done and outsourcing of onm activities outsourcing of onm activities this has been a long debate in the government that if we want to rope in the efficiencies and the expertise of the private companies uh, probably we will be able to reduce the manpower cost in the operations and maintenance so uh, for our delhi merit corridor we are trying that also uh, how to increase the non fare box revenue so in this again uh, permission of mixed land use of course this is again the uh, government's uh, help is required government's help is re required in uh, having the proper um, land use so that we can uh, optimize it to the maximum extent possible then focus on multifunctional complexes which can address various traveler needs including food and beverages banking healthcare shopping etc Uh, this we have been doing in metros and we will be doing in rrts and this has to be done in any rrts future rrts which comes then revenue from rr advertisements within the rrts corridor the other challenges uh, which are uh, being faced uneven and underdeveloped city infrastructure of course nothing can be done but we have to uh, find solutions to that we have narrower roads lesser space which calls for additional um, uh, cost in the designing means suppose if the road is wider you can have a full corridor below it but if the road is narrower uh, it has to be accommodated you have to go multi layered i am talking about the underground corridors that increases the cost but that cannot be helped so that is one uh, big challenge uneven spread of population finalization of alignment becomes difficult if the spread of population is uneven negligible intra city transport to supplement last mile connectivity for rrts for metros this is a challenge for all the such metro systems so um, uh, last mile connectivity has to be looked from the very beginning itself means all the metro stations should have provisions for buses or ola ubers or other auto rickshaws that provisions have to be conceived at the design stage of the rrts itself the scarcity of trained manpower required for execution i think this is also a very big challenge there is a severe scarcity of 
ट्रेंड मैन पावर फॉर एक्सक्यूशन ऑफ कोर्स स्किल डेवलपमेंट एंड ऑल दोज थिंग्स आर कमिंग मार्क बट दे आर नॉट एबल टू फिल दी गैप वॉट इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर ए मेट्रो और वॉट इज वॉट इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर आर आर टी एस दीज आर दी वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द चैलेंजेस नाउ वी विल टॉक अबाउट दी अपॉर्चुनिटीज वट अपॉर्चुनिटीज विल कम अप इफ वी हैव द आर आर टी एस इन सच सिस्टम्स we have better health care we have education we have employment we have laser uh, just to tell you one thing that uh, in our rrts system we have provided a space as there is a space for wheelchair there is a space for a stretcher any uh, uh, any patient is to be moved from uh, any of the cities in the corridor he can be moved to aims or any of the hospitals in the route through the stretcher itself directly on the stretcher this is another social and environmental benefits universal access reduced pollution reduced congestion higher safety minimal displacement displacement economic be- benefits better urban agglomeration enhanced labor productivity employment polycentric economic development so uh, outcome of rrts um, although despite all the challenges i think these are the advantages that we can have connect suburban and urban centers encourage shift from private vehicles road vehicles to a more sustainable high speed rail public transport system a fast and safe mobility system the project will have wider reacher benefits um, for uh, many options as i discussed improved quality of life of citizens and balanced um just uh, the last this is the our uh, train which is ready at savli and uh, ready for uh, dispatch thank you european train control system um have you heard the uh, uh, ic 61850 ic 61850 is a open protocol system for uh, power supply systems similarly european tra- train control system it is a standardized signaling system with a open protocol suppose uh, a particular vendor provides a signaling system there is nothing hidden Uh, all the protocols are known another vendor why can always uh, integrate into the system usme jo aapka 61850 mein hai aap koi command dete hain and you have a specific code and you hide that code so you have to go to the old vendor in this case etcs level 2 is a open protocol jisme everybody has to declare what are the commands what are the signals and x coming y coming later on can always integrate yeah please uh, provided madam permits uh, uh, it can uh, it's a precast slab uh, i hope uh, if you have worked with metros or if you have seen how tracks are being cast in metros tracks are being cast in c2 they are being cast at the site here you have slabs casted in a factory so from there you bring it and you put it here uh, with of course the same uh, gauge uh, same uh, standard gauge and everything is there and the track is directly laid so it makes the implementation very faster thank you thank you so much sir sir please stay back thank you so much sir we request mr anthony abuta senior global transportation pme growth and incubation video cities and transportation group intel corporation usa to please join us on stage to kindly present the memento to mr to shri mahendra kumar thank you so much sir for sharing the insights